Hey, you said friendly. Mother I want him. You did say friendly. I no, that wasn't mother friendly. No. You were trying to sleep. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. All right? Throw them. Let them. The difference between the fighting skills of a regular dude and an actual pro are so vast that some guys think they can actually step into the ring or cage and have success against an athlete who's been training for years. Spoiler alert, it never goes well. Here's what happens when these clueless amateurs challenge professional fighters. And we're coming out of the gates with a great one courtesy of a very good boxer who decided to take a challenge from a street fighter who's about to learn a real lesson about the levels that exist in the fight game. He might have been good on the streets, but his wild flailing attacks were totally useless in the face of his opponent's legitimately solid defense. And once he was done feeling things out, the boxer started to sit down on his punches, landing with an increasingly high level of power. When the knockdown started piling up, that's when the real karma started to come into play. Eventually, the street fighter got hit so hard, he fell out of the ring, which is kind of a poetic way to lose. Some people just ain't cut out for this kind of thing. Chris Curtis is an elite middleweight in the sport of MMA right now. But when some extremely overconfident and supposedly unbeaten street fighter decided to step up to the plate and try to get the better of him, no prizes for guessing how that went. Curtis could have killed this guy easily if he wanted to. It was a totally uncompetitive spar, with the street fighter showing absolutely no natural aptitude for fighting. This was a pro against an amateur, simply put, and the street fighter should be extremely thankful that Curtis didn't hurt him any worse than he had to in order to make his point. But when this dude started claiming that he was holding back and he could have KO'd the top 15 UFC middleweight at any time, that's when Curtis' nice guy demeanor went completely away. Take a pick. Put your glove on our lead. Bro, put your glove on our lead. This dude is lucky that Curtis didn't drag him back into the cage. Some fans really don't understand the levels that exist within martial arts. How many times do you think a guy like Conor McGregor could tap you in a minute if you rolled? Sure, he might have subbed a few times in the octagon, but he's a black belt and would eat 99.9% .9 of MMA fans alive on the mats. And the same could be said for Kevin Holland. The difference? Well, he actually decided to accept the challenge of a troll who dismissed his grappling skills. And when he showed up to roll, Holland proceeded to embarrass him, tapping him repeatedly. And as you might expect, given his reputation, he talked relentlessly the whole time, adding a deeper level of embarrassment to the whole thing. Holland might get his grappling exposed from time to time in the octagon, but the dude's been training for years and would tap you out in seconds. Charlie Zelenoff is the most famous troll in boxing, a genuinely bizarre character who shows up to spar with actual fighters and tries to take their heads off with full power shots. He always gets beaten up in the end, but he still claims his record is unbeaten. When he attempted to beat up the aging former pro Floyd Mayweather Sr., Zelenov's arrogance managed to bring out the best in this veteran. And Floyd didn't let him off the hook, embarrassing him in every exchange, much to the delight of everyone watching in the gym. But Charlie was not about to leave without his victory. And so when Floyd wasn't expecting it, Zelenov sucker punched the old man. And to be honest, knowing how much these fighters respect their elders, he was lucky to escape with his life. So if you got a personal favorite of Charlie Z failing, let us know. We're not done with him yet on this video. The next one is a classic example of the age-old sparring rule. Hit me as hard as you want to get hit. In many ways, it's the perfect way to keep things steady and fair in the gym. But when the legendary UFC welterweight Carlos Condit came to a US military camp to train with some of their guys, 
He laid out the rules simply. He was going to hit them as hard as they hit him. And so when one of these dudes decided he wanted to go all out, the former UFC title challenger obliged him, landing a straight punch that ended this sparring session in an instant. They don't call him the natural born killer for nothing. In my book, this was fair game. You play hardball with a lifelong fighter, you might not end up liking the results. And that's what we saw here. It's crazy how far someone's ego will drive them. Because for this bully, who knows why he decided to drive for over an hour to a gym to try to beat up this boxing coach. You can't come to the gym and ask to spot somebody. Let's go. Let's work. Surely he must have realized that a boxing coach is naturally going to be pretty good at, you know, boxing. Well, he certainly didn't get the memo on this one, it seems. And the coach was sure to make this beating worth his journey down. And he wasn't quite as merciful as some of the other coaches will feature on this video. No, he talked trash, knocked him down several times, and handed out justice with a side order of pain. And that is fair punishment. This bully had supposedly been picking on younger and less experienced fighters, doing whatever he could to try and feel superior. Know any guys like that in your gym? Well, the coach reckoned that he needed a slice of humble pie. And so he set him up for a sparring session with a much better fighter. And it played out almost exactly how you might expect. At first, his natural aggression and energy were there, even though he could barely land a glove on his adversary. But once his stamina started to fail, things took a turn for the worse. You could really get the sense that the better boxer here could have ended him in a second if he really wanted to but he just gave him a lesson on boxing fundamentals instead. More Charlie Z nonsense comes in next, and yet another example of this truly psychotic wannabe boxer coaxing an actual fighter into a so-called light spar, only to try to take their head off. Thankfully, this guy was more than prepared for what was coming his way, and he proceeded to grab a hold of Zelenoff as soon as his flurry ended, holding tightly onto his head to prevent any further shots. What followed was truly hilarious, as this bemused coach talked to Charlie Z to try to get him to calm down, totally emasculating him and calling him out for lying about his intentions with the spar. He did say friendly. No, that wasn't my friendly. You were trying to sleep. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. We all know that Charlie put this down as another win on his record, and with that, the cycle continues. All right. It's all kind of sad and unfortunate in its own way, but we just can't help but find this absolutely hilarious. He certainly has his own place in boxing history. You said five seconds friendly. Okay, we're kind of breaking our own rule with this one. Bondelay Silva wasn't sparring some random chump off the street here. It was a pro that got on his wrong side during this infamous session. A lower level pro, sure, but a pro nonetheless. When this guy hit Vanderlei a little harder than he expected, we got to see the axe murderer turning up the intensity massively. All of a sudden, what was initially a light spar turned into an all-out war. Standards of sparring have certainly changed over the years, but man, some of these older videos would make you wonder how these guys even managed to compete without multiple concussions during camp. Vanderlei was a true great of his era. This guy stepped in, asking to fight. Just signed the waiver. Jumping into an MMA session with someone who has years of experience on you is always going to end up looking like this. He had apparently challenged this MMA fighter to showcase his so-called skills. But once he signed that waiver that exempted the gym from any legal issues, thanks to the harm that might come to him, he might as well have been signing his death warrant. This was yet another example of a guy who thankfully ended up sparring a pretty merciful pro. And all he ended up doing was beating him up a bit on the ground to teach him a lesson. Because judging off the clear skill gap between these two, if this fight had happened on the street, there's no end to the pain and suffering he might have inflicted if he felt like it. We need to say it again, there are levels to this. And these two were light years apart. This one is actually kind of wholesome, or at least it is at the end. Because at first, this cocky dude was causing a bit of a ruckus as he tried to call out the coach of this gym, 
and while it did take a while for him to accept, eventually he decided to teach this dude a lesson that he'd never forget. And so the coach put on a counter-punching masterclass, making it fully clear to this guy just how far behind he was, to the point where this wannabe tough guy couldn't make a single move without eating a quick response, right on the chin. Then at the very end, when the coach asked his bully what he'd like to do next, he'd given him a big enough slice of humble pie for him to come out and ask if the coach would train him. How's that for a total U-turn? Why do these guys bother challenging pro fighters to sparring sessions? And sure, while you might get a merciful fighter who toys with you and maybe lands a few body punches just to prove his point, Sean Strickland is gonna go in there and make you bleed. Of that, there is no doubt. And for this challenger, he was not let off the hook in any way by Strickland here. The former UFC champ put a pace on this guy early, landing with huge volume while talking trash to him the whole time. This untrained internet troll had absolutely no answer to Strickland's onslaught. But when all was said and done, Strickland gave him respect for hanging in there. We got to agree with him on that one. Sparring with Strickland looks like an absolute nightmare to deal with.